All right, welcome everybody. It's KB here and uh, we got the new update for the Windows 11. It's new build, build 22,000.65. And I got this update. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what's new in this update, all right? So first big change is the start menu. If you click on the start menu after this update, you will see a search bar at the top, which means we can click on it and it will take us to the search and we can do the search. And another good thing about having a search bar in start menu is when you are in start menu, you can start typing and it will do the search. So do that and you don't even have to go to the search. And you know what that means? We can finally disable or at least hide the search icon to make our taskbar look clean or make more space in taskbar. So I'm gonna do that right here. Disable that. Now we're just gonna use start menu to access our apps plus to search for the things that we need. Simply, look at that. Very clean, okay. So next big thing is refresh in context menu. So before this, uh, if we right click on the uh, Windows 11, there was no refresh button, but now we do because it's the new update. But sadly, you know what? Third party context menu are still not visible. So to get those options, You'll have to click on show more options and then you will see like nvidia control panel or any other third party context menu that you have same goes for the files too so i have this zip file i use 7-zip so if i right click there is no option to extract this with 7-zip or winrar whatever you use because third party apps context menu are still not visible but you can do the show more options from here and then you can extract your file like that you know uh, still improving okay they are trying to add more stuffs to the actual windows 11 context menu so we're just gonna wait uh, it's it's getting better that's all we can say and uh, the final thing uh, weird actually if you right click on the audio icon you will see a troubleshoot option you can click on it and troubleshoot if there is any problem with your audio that's that but sadly if you do the same thing for your internet uh, wi-fi or ethernet i'm using the ethernet if i right click on the ethernet there is no troubleshoot so they added the troubleshoot to the sound but not to the internet it's like it's not i'm not even making a video on what's new in this uh bill i'm like complaining why why microsoft why but uh, hopefully in uh, future updates we will get that troubleshoot option too for the uh, network too but as of now this has only been added to the sound and uh, yeah these are the visually uh, noticeable changes in windows 11 bill 22,000.65 and that's it and uh, i'm gonna make a playlist of windows 11 update where i'm gonna post all of my windows 11 update related videos such as this one so if you're interested keep eye on that playlist Okay, I'm going to be making a clean playlist for the Windows update related videos. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. And just in case, if you don't know how to download the Windows 11 ISO file or how to download the Windows 11 update, then I will put link in the description for my videos. You can go there and watch and learn how to get the Windows 11. And that's it. I will see you on the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.